bomb cereal and this is bob sankario thanks for watching thanks for your support and for clicking like in this video and you are appreciated do not forget to subscribe right keep doing clicking like right the pentagon announced on thursday night that he launched an airstrike in syria after drone attack that killed a u.s contractor and wound five u.s troops near asakaf in northeast syria secretary of defense uh, lloyd austin said that uh, at the duration of the president biden he authorized u.s central command forces to uh, conduct precise uh, precision airstrike tonight in eastern syria against facilities used by the groups affiliated with the iran islamic revolution guard corp irgc the groups the uh, the groups that the u.s target were likely shia militia that operate in syria the pentagon claimed that the u.s intelligence determined the drone was of iranian origin but at this point there's no indication that the tehran was involved in the attack on the u.s base the pentagon also said that uh, the two of the wounded service members uh, were treated on site while uh, three additional service members and the u.s contractor were medically evacuated to the to a coalition medical facility in iraq the u.s has about uh, 900 troops stationed in eastern syria and the u.s bases in the country frequently come under attack uh, and the president biden has previously uh, launch an uh, airstrike against Shia militia in Syria. And the last major escalation look, uh, took place in August 2022 when uh, Biden ordered a series of airstrikes, which the U.S. started in response to a drone attack that caused no casualty. And the U.S. occupation of eastern Syria always um, risks sparking a wider war in the region, as we all know. The U.S. is also preparing for war with Russia and China. You see how crazy these people are going? Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, General Mark Miley, told Congress at the Thursday uh, hearing that the Pentagon's 2024 budget request will help the country prepare for future war, especially with China. Miley insisted that the uh, Pentagon's massive $842 billion budget request is meant to deter war, but said it will also prepare the U.S. military to fight one. He told the House um, Appropriations Subcommittee on Defense that uh, deterring and preparing for a conflict is, uh, is uh, extraordinarily expensive, but is not as expensive as fighting a war. And this is budget uh, prevent war and pre uh, prepare U.S. to fight fight it if it's necessary. The Pentagon identified China as the most comprehensive and serious challenge to the U.S. national security and strategy in the 2022 national defense strategy. And lately, U.S. military leaders have been uh, speaking more explicitly about how they are preparing for a direct war with China, despite the risk of nuclear war. President Joe Biden also uh, vowed to defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese attack. Miley, General Miley said China's actions um, are moving it down the path toward confrontation and potential conflict with its neighbors and possibly the United States echoing similar warnings made by Chinese officials. So now we go into a war. Chinese Foreign Minister Oying Gang warned earlier this month that uh, if the U.S. doesn't change course on its military buildup in the Asia Pacific and other policies aimed at China, it will lead to a conflict, a big war, and a confrontation. The Pentagon's budget request will further expand the U.S. military footprint in the region by funding a build-up plan known as the Pacific Deterrence Initiative. This budget will uh, include a 40% increase over uh, last year for the Pacific Deterrence Initiative to an all-time high of $9.1 billion, Austin said at the hearing, that will fund a stronger force posture, uh, better defense for Hawaii and Guam, 
and deeper cooperation with the U.S. allies and partners. For China Oaks in the Congress, what the Pentagon has asked to spend uh, in 2024 is not enough, including funding for other agencies. President Joe Biden's military spending request totals $886.4 billion. Congress is expected to add 10 of the billions more as it did at the Biden 2022-2023 request. This is it for today. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.